Okay, so I haven't been very good at keeping track of this, but it has been about 19 days, almost 20 days since we planted up the lettuces, the spinach, the arugula in my Hortus system here. As you can see, everything has taken off really good. I'm just gonna lift the light up a bit more so we can have a good look here. So one thing that uh, I did notice is that my spinach, my second spinach seeds did not take off. I feel like these seeds are maybe a little bit old and I probably need to buy a new batch. So you can see the spinach kind of has a spindly uh, root system here. I think I need to put some clay balls around it just to kind of give it a bit more support. But all of this romaine is looking really good. And the arugula, I left it so that I didn't thin it out, so there is two plants coming in this one, and I think there's three coming out of this one. So, so far they are managing. I did notice though back here in the corner, if you remember, is where I planted some green onions, and it looks like somehow one of my romaine seeds fell into that hole as well. So they're kind of competing with each other. So maybe I will take advantage of this spare hole at the back and throw some more green onion seeds back there. So far, at day 20, we are looking like we should have some lettuce probably in another week or so. So this is the first time I've used the Hortus uh, system and just by kind of judging the, the strength of the pump and um, the light system here, I kind of get a feeling that growing something as simple like lettuces and herbs would be best for this system. Um, maybe at some point I will try doing a tomato plant or a pepper plant, but I kind of have a feeling that it won't do well in this system. I've done a comparison with the I do system to Aero Garden, and the Aero Garden was hands down much better at growing tomatoes. I don't know if it's got better lights or if it's just that the pump um, just generates more air. I'm not sure, but definitely this one will be good for lettuces. Okay, so we are now at day 25 for this uh, lettuce and I am just gonna raise the lights up here again so we can have a good look, but you can see that there has been a lot more growth. The romaine lettuce looks amazing. We got lots of arugula and I can see that my system has drank up most of the nutrient water. So I'm gonna first off start by refilling it up and I am using the two-part nutrient system that did come with the uh, Hortus system. I mixed up two liters in this container and I'm just going to top it up. And then I think it's time for our first harvest. So I think the cut and come again method will work well with this lettuce and arugula. As you can see, I'm getting some really beautiful leaves of romaine here. So I'm just going to work through the plants and cut away all the bigger leaves from each plant and leave the little ones that are in the center to continue growing. And here's what it's looked like after I have chopped away all that arugula and romaine as you can see, I've got a large container here that I'll feed a few of us tonight at supper. So I'm just going to lower the lights back down to closer to the, the plants and we will just leave this for another few days and see how it grows back. We are five days later, day 30 for the uh, lettuces I have growing in my Hotu system. So you can see here about half of the water has been uh, used up now in the last five days. And look at all this growth. I should be able to get another uh, serving of lettuce off here in a few days. So the cut and come again method works really well on this system. This lettuce that I harvested five days ago, we made into a really delicious salad. And I'm looking forward to having another one soon. So I just wanted to show you again the type of uh, seeds that I planted in here. This is a new lettuce that I've just tried from West Coast Seeds called the Coastal Star. 
and I'm really liking the, the leaves on this. The flavor is really good. They're nice and crunchy, substantial sized leaves, and so they are great in a salad. And I'm going to replant some of these scallions that I got from West Coast Seeds in this far corner here where nothing was growing. And my arugula is uh, seeds that I had saved for my arugula plants um, over the last couple of years. So everything's looking good and we should be doing a harvest here in another couple days. So I'm just going to be throwing three of these onion seeds into this pod here down inside the hole. And then we'll be sticking it in the back corner here. Put the dome on it again just to until it germinates. And another comment I just wanted to make about the, the Hortu system here is these light buttons here are super sensitive and I've hit them several times. Just basically they just turn on and off just by a slight touch, which um, kind of screws up your timing on this now because it runs on a 16 hour on, eight hour off system, but you can't really control when it starts and stops. It basically starts as soon as you hit that power button. So it's in the evening now, and um, I've been just trying to adjust these lights. And again, like I said, you just touch it and your light goes off and then the timer starts over again. So now I have it set that it's going to run all night and then turn off during the day. So what I've been doing every time this happens is just coming down here early in the morning. Most of my lights I have set on timers to start at 6 a.m. So I will probably come down here in the morning and just turn it off, turn it back on, and get it reset. So overall, I give the Hortu system a thumbs up. I think it makes a great system for growing lettuces, and I'm sure it will work good on herbs. And maybe down the road I'll test out something like peppers and tomatoes in it. So I'm just getting ready to set up an herb garden in my I Do system here. So stay tuned for future videos coming to the channel. Please hit that like button if you haven't already done so. Subscribe to my channel and we will see you on the next video. Happy gardening!